Whew. Almost back to camp. I can see the campground. I'm maybe an eighth of a mile from camp. As you can see, well, it's kind of hard to tell, but it was almost dark. So I did it just in the nick of time. Didn't want to have to use my headlamp. I have it and I have hiked with my headlamp, but still. Anyway, quick look at the valley. Oh, there it is. And quick look where the sun's setting behind me. Yeah, so pretty. What an awesome hike this was. So the campground sits at maybe, I don't know, 10,000 feet. And the plateau is about 12. So over the course of six miles, it was only about a 2,000 foot total elevation gain. But there were some ups and downs in there too. So it was a little more than 2,000 feet. But whew, I'm wiped. It is, gosh, what time is it? I don't think it's quite 8.30. I left a little after 3.30. So I crushed this 12 and a half or 13 mile hike in less than five hours. I feel pretty damn good about that. Oh, and I hope that I'm gonna sleep well tonight and maybe do another big hike tomorrow. We'll see. My knees are definitely feeling it. I think some vitamin I is in order for tonight. And because I haven't really eaten anything, I think I might eat a little something before I go to bed. So now I'm walking through the quakies and it's getting really dark. It's awesome in here though. I saw, let's see, what did I see? A bunch of pikas and five cow elk and not a single other human on this trail. It was awesome. There were a few birds, some robins, and maybe some rosy finches. I'm not sure what all was up there. But anyway, it was a phenomenal hike. And my last little stream crossing. It's like a little rivulet. It's not even a stream. And I am back at the lakes. All right. Oh, that was awesome. I feel so good. And I saw so many wetlands. And I have lots of photo documentation for our mappers. So it was a work hike in addition to a fun hike. All right, I'm signing off. Ciao, babies.